Welcome to Mrs. Connect's sixth grade U.S. history class. I am thrilled you chose my class this year. As we get started, I am going to set some ground rules as this classroom is technically my ship and my ship, my rules. Class expectations, here we go. I have three rules. One, respect yourself. Two, respect one another. And three, respect our environment. Pretty easy to remember, but let's take a look at what that looks like in our classroom as we move into middle school. First off, respect yourself. What does that mean? First, no negative talk is allowed. Two, try your best. And three, attitude determines everything. These actually all go together. I don't know if you have ever considered this, but your thoughts determine how you feel and how you think about yourself and what is going on in your life. When you choose to think negatively about yourself, you are setting yourself up for failure. Remember, you are the one listening to your own thoughts. And if you think those negative thoughts often, you'll start believing that they are true, even if they're not. Sometimes things go wrong in your day but you still have a choice. Sometimes we make mistakes. How will you respond when that happens? The biggest stumbling block to learning is a bad attitude. Leave it at the door. It is not welcome in here. It's also hard to have fun when you have a bad attitude. Your attitude determines your direction. So make it a positive attitude. Take every thought captive. Is it negative? Replace it with a positive. Right now, what is something positive that you can say about yourself today as we move forward into this school year? Finish this statement. I can, I will, I am. Here are a few ideas. Pause the video to complete the sticky note challenge. Another huge part of respecting yourself is coming to class prepared and ready to learn. For my class, that means showing up to class on time. Before the bell rings or as the bell rings is on time. If you are not in your seat when the bell rings, you will be counted as tardy. Three tardies and you go to the dean. As we get used to our new middle school routines, bell schedules, and where classrooms are, I will be lenient for the first two weeks of school. But after that, I will be firm about this. So practice getting to class quickly so that this won't be an issue for you in the future. Respecting yourself also means bringing what you need to class. Always bring your agenda. Always. No exception. Always bring a pencil or two, and always bring your history notebook to class. Your history notebook must be a big, five-subject, spiraled notebook with dividers in it. We will fill it up with notes, drawings, activities, quizzes, and all kinds of history-related material over the course of the year. Your sixth grade school supplies list required that you have two of these notebooks, and one of them will be used in my class. Don't let this be you. Bring to class anything else, project, study guide, etc., that we would have talked about the class before or it had been mentioned on Google Classroom. Many of you have already been familiar with Google Classroom, but for those of you who aren't, it's basically like our class's own website, where only the students in this section have access to it. I post all homework assignments, videos, study guides, lesson PowerPoints, etc. right here. So it is very important that you learn how to sign in using your LCPS username and password. Your username is your student ID at lcps.org and your passwords are set up to default your birth date, month, day, and last two digits of the year. I will be giving you a class code so that you can log in to our classes section based on what block you are in. Please write down it in your agenda. It's best not to be absent at all. In fact, the most successful students are rarely absent. But I get it. We all get sick or go on vacation now and then. I understand that it is inevitable that you may miss class once in a while. So when that happens, it is your responsibility to catch up on what you missed. 
not your mom's or your parents. You are in middle school now. Take charge of your own learning. The best, the best thing you can do is log into Google Classroom and find out what you missed. Often I have the lessons PowerPoint and the homework videos posted with directions outlining exactly what to do and when the assignment is due. It's, it also won't hurt to check in with a friend in our class about what we missed in case something was not clear on Google Classroom. And of course, you can always send me an email or see me during resource so that I can talk you through what you missed. I shared my email address on the board for you to copy down in your agenda. Take ownership of your own learning by writing down your homework in your agenda first thing, even if you are good at remembering things in your head. I make it a requirement in my class to do this before any other task when you get to class. So copy down what I have written down on the, the homework section on the board and put it in the social studies section of your agenda for today's date. I encourage you to put a box to the left of the assignment so that you so that when you have completed it, you can check it off as a visual reminder that it's done. Let's pause the video here so that we can write down tonight's homework assignment. It will be due at the beginning of next class. Also, use your agenda to copy down tests and quizzes that are coming up and either bubble them in or box them in on the future date that I will be giving them. That way there are no surprises and you can be working towards studying for them in advance. That is being prepared. That is respecting yourself. So now let's talk about homework. Most of you like YouTube, right? Well, congratulations. You get to watch YouTube videos for homework this year. So the way this works is I have personally made YouTube videos about the content we learn in sixth grade history. These videos are between five to 12 minutes in length. You are required to watch and listen to them for homework. I try to make them as fun and entertaining as possible with pictures and stories and all kinds of stuff. While you watch them, you will want to have your history notebook and a pencil handy because you will need to take a few notes based on what the video is about. Most of the notes will be in the font color purple so that you know exactly what to write down and what to leave out. We will practice this together in the next few days so that there is no confusion and you know exactly what to do. But I will be checking to make sure that you have watched the YouTube video for homework by checking to see if you have the correct notes taken in your history notebook. Also, to keep you accountable about watching the video, I will sometimes have a short three to five question pop quiz about the main idea or a cool picture I had in the video or a, a story I told. Respect yourself and get extra help if you need it. I will be available to those students who need extra help during resource block as well as before or after school by appointment. But you have to email me or come talk to me if you need to see me before or after school. I question a lot of my students, a, a question my, my students have is, how do we get graded? You get graded for vocabulary quizzes, short bell ringer quizzes, homework completion, participation in class, discussions, group activities, and projects, unit quizzes, sometimes tests, and individual projects. Check student view regularly so that you know how you are doing in class and that there are absolutely no surprises. Now, if you do poorly on an assignment, you have the ability to retake it, and that's a good thing. However, you have to take ownership of your own learning, so that means you take the initiative to come see me or email me to set up a time, normally during resource, to retake it and get the materials needed to study and complete before you have to hand in uh, your second retake or your retake the second time. But I only give you about two weeks after you first take the test or quiz to retake it. So if you forget, you miss out on raising your grade. Now, the highest retake grade you can get on a test or a quiz is an 81%. So if you get anything above an 80 the first time around, you are not eligible to take a retake. 
Okay, so I know that was a lot about respecting yourself, but I think you can handle it. Grab an index card and write your name on it. Then look under your desk and take a quick pop quiz. You have two minutes to complete it. Number one, what should you bring to class every time? Pencil, agenda, history notebook, or all of the above? If you got D, give a neighbor a high five. Two, what should you do if you miss class? Check Google Classroom first, get your mom to email the teacher, nothing, just show up next class to see if the teacher can tell you what you missed. Or check with a friend, but not Google Classroom. If you got A, give a neighbor a fist bump. This one should be a no-brainer. Three, who is in charge of your learning? The teacher, your parents, you, or your tutor? I really hope you got C, because if you haven't yet figured it out, in sixth grade, you are the one who is in charge of your learning. Obviously, I am here to help. Maybe your parents or a tutor are too, but the number one person in charge of your learning is you. That is why respecting yourself is so important, and I want you to succeed.